This is the Ignis 121, a yellow-white F-type star, hundreds of millions of years old, burning stably, warming the only planet that revolves around it. And this is Ignis 121a, a planet where liquid water flowed in abundance and the air rich in oxygen. On this planet evolved life from single-celled organisms to large beasts and eventually intelligent beings. But now the life of Ignis 121 seems to be nearing its end, and the star will soon engulf its planet before turning into a white dwarf and then end as a planetary nebula. This is the law of the universe, that what is born has to die. But intelligence can be preserved and passed on if one can find a way. Turns out that the beings of Ignis 121 are making one last attempt at keeping themselves alive in the cosmos. They are calling out for help. But in the vastness of the universe, the probability of their message reaching an alien planet with life, and intelligent life that too, is significantly small. And even if their messages do reach a planet with intelligent life, how will they know how to decipher an alien message? Ignis 121 is a fictional star, true, but there is a star that our telescopes have detected, which is behaving very strange, and it might be sending us signals in that process, but are we listening? Welcome to Star Extreme, there is a little space for everyone here. We have sent out radio signals in every direction in space. We have even loaded a spacecraft with literally everything that our world represents, but till now, no one has acknowledged us. But it finally looks like someone have been trying to get in touch with us, and that too, since the 1890s. When a planet passes in front of its parent star, relative to our line of sight, some of the star's light will disappear for a short while. This is called the transit method, and it helps sexoplanet hunters to search for worlds around other stars. As of today, we know of thousands of stars with worlds around them, and most of them were discovered by transit. And none of them have shown any signs of hosting a planet with intelligent life. Except an extraordinary star, KIC 8462852, which is located 1300 light years away in the constellation Cygnus. At first glance, this star looks like any other normal yellow white dwarf. However, once we started observing it, we noticed that its dimming is wild and mysterious. NASA's Kepler telescope first noticed the mysterious dipping in the star's brightness at random intervals between 2011 and 2013. Normally, with a planet orbiting its star, the dip in the star's luminosity happens at a regular interval. You can also observe transits within our solar system when Venus or Mercury travel between us and the Sun. However, this star's flux dims by a tremendous amount, without any regularly repeating signals. Now, planets do not get much bigger than Jupiter. When Jupiter passes in front of our Sun, it makes a 1% drop in the Sun's brightness. However, this star's brightness varied by an unprecedented 22%. That's a massive object orbiting it, and its sheer monstrosity tells us that it cannot be a planet. And what's even more startling is the speed and randomness of its flickering. Scientists have tried and tried and tried to come up with a natural explanation for what's happening around the star. Number 1. Comets some scientists suggested that a barrage of comets is the reason for the strange dipping. But that was quickly ruled out, as it would take tens of thousands of comets to dip the luminosity of the star. 648,000 exocomets to be precise. Number 2. Stellar Acceleration Disks Stellar acceleration disks are found around newborn stars, as planets start to form around them. This star, however, is thought to be too old for any remnants of a stellar accretion disk to still be orbiting. So, not a planet, not comets, and not an acceleration disk. Number 3. An alien megastructure. A Dyson sphere would block more light compared to the other scenarios. 
It also explains the large and irregular dimming. However, scientists believe that it isn't an alien structure because an object like that would be completely opaque to light, like planets and moons orbiting a star. Astronomers over the years studied four different dips in the flux of the planet and found that dimming was much more definite at some wavelengths and less intense at others, something that would not happen with a solid object. Therefore, whatever is passing between us and the star is not opaque, as expected of a Dyson sphere, said scientists. Dust particles can cause bluer light to be blocked and redder light to be preferentially transmitted, and that's why scientists now believe that whatever was causing the flux dips had a dusty origin. Well, there are a few problems with this, however. First of all, what do we know about a Dyson Sphere technology? Humanity has only hypothesized its mechanics, while an advanced civilization might have actually constructed one. Secondly, the dips of Tabby's star, named after T. He NASA scientist who found it, might look irregular, but are they, really? What if there is a message encoded in them? What if they are trying to get our attention? Jason Wright, a colleague of Tabby Boyajian, said that these dips are so weird that only an alien megastructure going around the star could explain it. So, with all these theories floating around, what could possibly be happening at the heart of the alien star? Let's talk about what we do know. Rodney Hale, a chartered engineer and citizen scientist, tried to physically model what this object could be that's causing these dips. What he found out from his calculations is that the only thing that could cause these mysterious dimming are elliptical objects passing in front of the star. His model shows that there are three separate ellipses crossing the star one after the other, causing the light curve on day 1519 of the Kepler mission. With all this information, artist Russell Hussain created this image to explain what might be going on there. In the picture you can see dust, but there is also a massive object. Another crazy thing is that Luc Arnold, a French astronomer, predicted back in 2005 that space missions like Kepler should look for strange dips around stars. Assuming that traveling faster than the speed of light is a cosmic hurdle, alien civilizations might try to put things in front of their star in order to deliberately send us information, like prime numbers or powers of two. He stated, and I quote, such multiple transits would clearly be attention, that is, getting signals, and will of communication would be obvious. This was four years before the launch of NASA's Kepler mission. And since 2015, various telescopes have been monitoring Tabby's star, and guess what? In May 2022, it burst back into life. And after it stopped, another one started in June. In the search for extraterrestrial life, maybe we could keep an open mind. What we are watching is coming to us from 1400 light years away, meaning we are actually seeing it as it happened 1400 years ago. For all we know, this could be a cry for help, a civilization's last resort to survive, with Webb exploring the cosmos, maybe NASA could turn its eyes towards Tabby's star, and hopefully, we will have something concrete instead of theories. What do you guys say? Drop in your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to Star Extreme. There is a little space for everyone here.